Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Thank you for stopping by. Today's video is on Buddy Epson, Jed Clampett himself, and how he wanted to die in front of the cameras. Retirement can seem like an oasis at the end of a life's long workload. Whether we love it or hate it, a career is work, and it's bound to exhaust us at least some of the time. Uh, so we save and do our best to ensure a secure future, or at least most of us do. Uh, for Buddy Ebsen, work was no great, great chore. Uh, sure, it was decades-long physical job, but dancing and acting were his genuine passion. Now, while the crafts both took a toll on his body, Ebsen was absolutely on board with the sacrifice. He would have done anything to keep entertaining. In a 1984 interview printed by Scripps Howard News Service, Ebsen described the philosophy behind his work ethic. There was a tune, September song, from the Broadway show uh, Knickerbocker Holiday. That said it best, according to him. Uh, there's a line in the song which expresses why I never will retire, said Epson. Those few golden days I'll spend with you. By 1984, Epson was 76 years old. His career uh, bridged the gap from Shirley Temple to Barnaby Jones, stopping by for some of the most legendary Hollywood projects uh, in between, such as the Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, his career was incredibly far-reaching, and he did seemingly everything an actor could do. But if there was one thing Epson wasn't going to add to his resume, and it was retirement. Maybe one of these days I'll die on stage or in front of the TV camera. But retire? That wouldn't be any fun. No matter where your life takes you, and whether you decide to retire or not, you sure to do what you can, you can to have fun along the way. I, I wish I could have that attitude. I'm not that energetic. I don't... Uh, I love doing this. If I could... Uh, kick back, retire doing these. I would love it. Um, but uh, the music, I used to play music in a band and, you know, that's not a real money maker for, I mean, we've made some money, but not, you know, we couldn't live off of it. Um, but I did it because I loved doing it. And I liked the guys that was in the band and, you know, it was like family. So that's part of it too. I think it's what you love. Somebody once said that uh, if you work, don't like your work, it's a job. Uh, if you do love your work, that's a career. Well, I love music. I, now I, uh, I have a lawn company, and I'm not the biggest fan of grabbing a weed eater and going out and weed. <laughs> that's what I do. That's my job. This here is videos, my love. I love this. Because I love you guys, and, and you've been great and supportive. Anyway, let's not make this about me, as I sometimes do. Uh <laughs> Please don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia. Um, it's on All in the Family. Classic rock and country music facts and trivia. It's five albums that have Easter eggs on the cover. If you know what an Easter egg is, uh, this, type, this type of Easter egg, it's a hidden thing in, in, the, in the picture on the cover of the album. It's pretty neat. Uh, so check those out. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please like this video. You guys have a great day. God bless. I'm praying for you.